Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Communication Tutorials. In this video, I am going to take up one of the MSc questions on sampling theorem. Let me read out the question. A waveform consisting of a sinusoid of fundamental frequency 500 Hz and its third harmonic of amplitude 0.1 times that of the fundamental. This signal is ideally sampled at the rate of 10,000 samples per second. Sketch the spectrum of the sampled waveform showing its first four components. Let us start with the solution part here. Let us analyze the question. We are told that there is a waveform that consists of a sinusoid of the fundamental frequency 500 Hz. Let us say the fundamental frequency is represented by F1 and it is 500 Hz. Further, we are also told that there is its third harmonic component and the amplitude of this component is 0.1 times that of the fundamental component. First of all, let me write the third harmonic component here. Let me represent it as F3. This is equals to 3 times F1. Therefore, F3 is equals to 1500 hertz. So now I will write the signal. So the signal, let it be represented as X of T is given by the fundamental component. Let me call it as sine of 2 pi F1 T. And then the second component is the third harmonic frequency component of amplitude 0.1. So it would be 0 0.1 into sine of 2 pi F3 T. This is the signal. Read out the first part of the question, you will understand. There is a sinusoid of fundamental frequency 500 hertz. Here F1 is 500 and there is its third harmonic component with amplitude 0.1. So, let us now substitute F1 and F2 into the equation for X of T, which I will call it as equation 1 and rewrite the same. Right. So, this is our expression for x of t after substituting for f1 and f2. Let us now try to plot the spectra of the signal. For that, we would require Fourier transform of each of these components. We know that Fourier transform of sin of 2 pi f1 t is given by 1 divided by 2i into delta of f minus f1 minus of delta of f plus f1. Let me now apply equation 3 here to equation 2 and write the Fourier transform of x of t. It will be x of f is equal to 1 divided by 2i into delta of f minus f1, f1 is 500 minus delta of f plus f1 which is 500 again. Then moving on to the second component we have plus 0 0.1 into 1 divided by 2i multiplied by delta of f minus f3 which is 1500 minus of delta of f plus 1500. This is the expression for x of f. I will call it as equation 4. Now, by analyzing equation 4 carefully, we will now note that there are four frequency components here and they are minus 500, plus 500, minus 1500 and plus 1500, which I will write. With that, now we can plot the spectra of the signal x of t. There are four frequency components here, 500, 1500 and then we have 
minus 500 and minus 1500. Go back to the equation 4, identify what is the amplitude of the frequency components minus 500 and plus 500. Here it is 1 by 2. So, I will come back here and I will write 1 by 2 for these two frequencies. Now, come back to equation 4 and identify the amplitude for the frequency components plus or minus 1500 hertz. It is 0 0.1 multiplied by 1 by 2. So, it will be 1 divided by 20. So, I will write two vertical lines here and the amplitude for them will be 1 divided by 20. Right. So, this is the spectrum of the input signal x of t. We are then in the question asked to sample this signal with an ideal sampling frequency of 10,000 samples per second. Let us now move on to the sampling part here. Now, I will write an equation for the sampled signal spectrum. It is x delta of f equals f s summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity x of f minus n f s. Okay. So, here we are given f s is equals to 10,000 samples per second. I will call this as equation 5. Now, I will have to substitute equation 4 which is x of f into equation 5. Now, before that, please note here this is x of f minus nfs. So, when I substitute this, I have to now substitute wherever there is f in equation 4 by f minus nfs. Let me now do that. So, x delta of f is equals to fs. I will retain the fs here as it is. Summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity. Then we have 1 divided by 2i multiplied by delta of f minus value of fs is 10,000. So, I will write 10,000 into n minus of 500. Then we have a minus delta of f minus 10,000 n plus 500. This is for the first component. Then we have a plus again fs summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity. Here we have 0 0.1 multiplied by 1 divided by 2i. So, it will be 1 divided by 20i into delta of f minus 10,000 n minus 1500 minus of delta of f minus 10,000 n plus 1500. Let me call this as equation 6. Now, by substituting the values of n varying from 0, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, etc., etc., we can obtain new frequency components and with that we can plot the spectra of the sampled signal. Let me start with the first value where n is equals to 0. When n is equal to 0, the expression for x delta of f reduces to Therefore, the four frequency components are plus or minus 500 and plus or minus 1500. Now, in an interesting change, let us go back to the question and see what is the last part. If you look at the last sentence, we are told the signal is ideally sampled and we are asked to sketch the spectrum of the sampled waveform showing only the first four components. Now, you come back to the case when n is equals to 0, you see that there are already four components for frequencies which are plus or minus 500 and plus or minus 1500. Therefore, as per the numerical, it is sufficient that we stop the computation just here and plot the spectra of the sampled signal, which I will write it here.
moving on let us start the plotting of the spectra i'll start with the x axis which is our frequency axis then the y axis which is x delta of f this is 0 this is 500 this is 1500 similarly we have minus 500 and minus 1500 here go back to the equation for x delta of f when n is equals to 0 and identify the amplitude of these frequency components minus 500 and plus 500 have an amplitude of fs by 2 whereas minus 1500 and plus 1500 have an amplitude of fs by 20 which i will be plotting now Right, so this is the spectrum of the sampled signal with only four frequency components as what is asked in the question. Right, that's it about this numerical. If you like this video, kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more information on digital communication. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.